And now, your selection. Meet the stars. The eye of the enemy is moving. The end has come. How would you describe the impact and the emotions that you have felt throughout the reactions of, of this movie? Well, I mean, of the whole trilogy, I mean, the way that, that people have responded is beyond my expectations. Um, I mean, I, I, expected, I expected people to love the films and, you know, appreciate the movies, as I certainly do, but I, I guess I didn't expect them to be so thankful for them. I literally have met people on the street who have come up to me and just said, thank you. You know, and that's the resounding feeling that they have of, of gratitude for these movies being released, which is incredible, you know. So it's amazing to be a part of something that people feel grateful for. Every day Frodo moves closer to Mordor. How do we know Frodo is alive? What does your heart tell you? Well, I like the sheet that someone was holding up at the premiere in uh, L.A. last night, which said, uh, Gandalf for governor. <laughs> That was quite fun. And uh, rather touching that they, they, they seem to be screaming as loudly for, for, for Gandalf as they were for Orlando Bloom and Liv Tyler. And I'm 64 and I thought, well, will you still love me? Will you still need me when I'm 64? Well, apparently, yes. The board is set. The pieces are moving. What Peter's so cleverly done is, is, is you know, take, take Tolkien fans, people who know the books so well, and, uh, and, 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 and then offer it up to a whole new load of people who have never even heard of the books, and make it equally as appealing and, and emotionally engaging. The precious sleepy eyes. He means to murder us! Never! I'm not sending him away. Come to me. This is the end. I mean, how, how did you feel emotionally watching the last movie? I cried so hard. I, I found this movie to be, I felt more emotional, and I felt I was able to kind of step outside of the fact that I was Arwen or Liv, and I'd been there for any of it. And I just got completely lost in the story, and I cried so hard. Did you cry too, Orlando? Um, yeah, I gotta say, it did, it did, Move me to a snuffle or two. Yeah. <laughs> it sort of marks the end of our journey. I'm trying not to think about the end so much. I mean, it is it is quite sad. You know, it's very very hard to take in. The first time I saw it, I was uh, I was almost numb at the end because I couldn't quite process the fact that this was the this was the end of the story. When I was in London doing the looping, the additional dialogue recording, uh, they showed me a couple of the last reels of the film and I was just sobbing and sobbing and sobbing and sobbing. The first time I saw it, I loved it. I just thought, this is the best one. It's just an incredible piece of filmmaking, I think. The rhythm of it, just how it can go from these huge, huge battle scenes to like two people talking about life and death and, you know, it's just, it, I think it's a wonderful movie. I suppose I'm not in a hurry for it to be over with. I'm, I'm gonna delay that feeling as long as I can. Uh, and I, and I think in some sense it won't end because, you know, I'm friends with these people for life now, you know, we're, we're more than friends, you know. <laughs>